Howdy folks, it's Nick here, and we're back in the chip factory. Yes, it's Technician Ted, the Mega Mix on the ZX Spectrum 128K, as we listen to this music for a little bit. Yes, published by Houston Consultants in 1986. It's a sequel to Technician Ted, which came out in 1984, the same year as Jet Set Willy, and Jet Set Willy has been a huge influence on this. Now, Technician Ted wasn't a bad little game. The, the sequel, the Mega Mix, aims to be a bit bigger, consistent of 100 rooms, but you control this Ted character in a computer chip factory, not a fishing chip factory, and you must outwit your dastardly boss to try and win promotion by doing different tasks. The tasks are a bit easier in this one to see what order you do it in, because they're in a numbered order, but um, it is very difficult. Now, um, I do know a poke for this game, but it doesn't work, so um, I'm just down to my normal skills. Right, I'm the white Ted there. There's a flashing box, we have to hit that, boom. And then another flashing box on the top left, we have to get there, and that's task one done. Uh, I don't think I can drop this distance, can I? No, dead. So I have to go up that ladder, which I can't reach. Music is similar to the first game. We start off in Ted's den. 100 screens. Uh, very inventive nasties there going backward and forward. But yes, it's, um, it's Jet Set Willy, isn't it, with different coding. Game plays very similar to the first one, although it's bigger. Right, task one, it says at the bottom, and in the first review of Technician Ted, I didn't do any tasks, and in Technician Ted, the Mega Mix were already one task up. Brilliant. If you haven't watched that review, then watch that straight away. Well, after this one. Through the gap there. I haven't got a map of this, but maps are available. The factory gates. Look at those C5s there. This screen was uh, in the original te Technician Ted, but not with the C5s. This, the uh, Sinclair C5 was an electronic car in the 80s, which said was going to revolutionise the way we uh, transport. Uh, it didn't. And uh, lost supply of a lot of money. Electric cars, a bit ahead of his time. The battery life was about 15 minutes, and the idea was once you run out of battery power, you then cycled, but you were so low to the ground, if a lorry come by you, it would probably blow the thing over. Hooray! Right, we're through there. Reception. Mm, now, this game is a little bit tricky because sometimes the uh, the Nazis change speed. Task 10 there. Well, we've only done with one task. We need, we're looking for task 2. Get out of the boardroom. So this game will take you a bit of a while to complete. Uh, you might not have completed it, but if you have, then let me know. There is uh, a third game after this called... Uh, Costa Capers, I believe. That's Technician Ted again, but hasn't got him in the title, right? Let's try and get the timing of this. Can we do it? Maybe. No, I can't I can't get up there, can I? Damn. Whoops. Let's go back the other way. If you like the first game, you're bound to like this one as well. Would have given you a bit of an extra challenge. C5's are a good touch. Let's go in this direction. Um, don't get me wrong, I still prefer Jet Set Willy and Jet Set Willy 2. This isn't a patch on that, but it's a similar genre and uh, nice for Houston consultants to try and take that route. They knew what was popular, so might as well give it a go. But it's blatant copying. Oh dear, that hasn't worked. Right, it's all about timing these games. Right, this could be it. Boom. Yeah, so there's a ladder going up. Oh, we can go straight across past that other C5. Or maybe we can wait 15 minutes for their battery to run out. I'm not sure if that works. Time's ticking up. Um, we have to collect... Well, do all the tasks before a certain time. There's a gun there saying fired or bang. Don't get fired. Now, this screen was in the original game as well, but a different colour. Can we get through that? No, that kills you. TT, Technician Ted, that kills you. The picket line. Du -du 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 you can, t can turn the music off if you want to, but we won't, because we're gluttons for punishment here. What do you prefer, this game or the um, or the second one, or the first one? It's a bit tricky. Right, we're on to some sort of roof. This is the official Union flag. Whoops! Oh, looks like a bit of a roof business going on. 
Thought I saw a conveyor belt there. We perhaps have to go there. If you fall a certain distance on this, you will die. I'm sure you knew that already in Great Jet Set Willy style. Right, okay, so on these buckets, there's the number one up there. Not sure what that's about, but we need to get to the right, I think, with expert precision. Mm, we might be able to go the other way around. That might be easier. Bypass that one coin. Yeah, we could probably, if we time it, probably get on that white one just to the right there. Yeah, okay. Turn around. Get on that white one. Oh, we've missed it. Ah, oh, and that's what you call a dev spiral. Our lives represented by that magenta line going down to zero. And we've been sacked through that green thing into a dustbin. Yeah. De -de 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 -de. Let's have another go. That's the problem with these games. Depending on how you enter one screen, you can easily be in a death spiral of doom. Right, let's try and do it slightly different this time. 1986. Technician Ted is a hacker. He must repair everything in this factory, because everyone else is useless. Where's this? One flew over the cuckoo's nest. There's a number one there. That's a reference to um, that Jack Nicholson film. Great film, you haven't uh, seen it? Check it out. Um, right. That's the, that is the joke. There's a cuckoo's nest and, and a number one flying over it. Bravo! Bravo! What comedians were involved with this? Um, would have been good to be a, a, a level designer in these games. Nothing much to that screen. The university. There's a bat going up and forward. I think that's a bat. Or what is it? Don't know. There's a factory worker there. Must avoid him. In yellow. Du, 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 du. I like the, the the font there for each room. It's not the same lettering each time. Can we get up here? Yes. Task completed this time. None. Because we're just exploring the place. University challenge. Right, okay. There's, there's like a boat there on the other side. We need to get there. Oh, cool. That is very tricky. Hmm. Uh, the first difficult challenge is a cup of tea there. We need to jump. Oh, yeah, there's a hidden barrier behind these blocks as well. I'll tell you one thing about this game. It gives you plenty of lives. See, whenever I lose a life, that magenta line there down the bottom goes down by a block. And you've got stacks of lives to do this. So it's not just three lives and you're gone. It does give you a bit. We won't be seeing all 100 screens, just to let you know. There is a cheat somewhere where you can walk through walls. Um, so you might see a few more screens that way. The only problem is if you walk through a wall and there's no screen there, like there's none on the map, I think it could be game over straight away. One flew over the cuckoo's nest and I am getting slightly more and more crazy as this goes on. I don't think we can grab that number one. We're looking for screens with boxes on, by the way. If you haven't noticed already. Another platformer has been recommended to me is Dynamite Dan. Uh, there's Dynamite Dan too as well. So uh, we'll probably come to those at some point. If you've got a platformer I haven't covered yet, then I'll put it below I'll add it to the list. It might already be on the list already. That's enough already's in that sentence. Boop. Alright, the only way of getting out of that is to jump to the ladder. Looks like we might be going up and away. Come on, Ted. Yeah, he needs to be in a game with uh, Jet Set Willy, really. But that'll never happen, because they were different to make software projects, or Bug Bite, and then Houston Consultants. Different people, stealing each other's ideas, uh, and that, uh, that still carries on today through YouTube. Hooray. Duh, duh, duh. You've got to be original, I think. If you can't be original, what is the point? Ladder on fence, what else? Whoever named this one knew what they were talking about. Mm, that ladder isn't big enough to go through the top of the screen, unfortunately. There's a big yellow face there. Looks like one of those um, plant mounters. Is this going to work? No, see, that's the problem. Death spiral. You time it wrong, death spiral. That number one's there again. Booted. Down the green funnel of doom into the red bin. You're fired, says that bloke. I think we'll have one more go, shall we? Yes. 
Ted's den. There's a guy jumping over my desk. I don't know who that is. It's more like a chocolate factory. Now, talking about chocolate factories, I do have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, on the list to review. I don't know if that's a platform game. Someone told me it was rubbish, so I added it to the list. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's something to come to, isn't it? Duh, duh, duh. Uh, the sequel to this one, Costa Capers. I don't know if he's in the Chip Factory again. It sounds like he might be a broader on holiday. Costa uh, Capers. Could be, a, could be Mexico, could be Spain. We'll find out. Right, let's time this. We're past that gun. Oh, that's interesting. Acme Dole Dispenser. Hmm, okay. This is where you go to get the dole money. Looks like there's a ladder going straight up, or we could go straight across. Just can't go straight across. Oops! Oh, that was lucky. Ah, what? Some obscure place. Modern doll cue. Oh, death spiral. Fundamentally flawed, this. Flawed, flawed, flawed. I've been kicked in the bin again. Duh, 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 duh. Employee disposal unit. Have you got any of those where you work? Is it quite bad? Let me know. Do they have a disposal unit? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But the music goes on, so we play on. Uh, work is pretty stressful wherever you are. There's normally a honeymoon uh, stage. For the first few months where everything is great and it's the best job in the world. And then after that thing you think, oh god, it's work again. Nothing can disguise work. If you can think of a way to get out of it and still earn money, then go for it. My, uh, my, um, long ambition, which is pretty remote, because of all the cheeky work that goes on from other people, is to make uh, money from YouTube so we never have to work again. But it's not going to happen because of all the fraudsters out there. And the amount of competition. But I'm not bitter, am I? Yes, yeah, keep it. No, I'm not. Hooray. Hooray. Da, 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 da. I'm, um, I'm like Technician Ted, really. I keep going into a death spiral. Right, we're going to complete the game now, are we? All 100 screens. Get ready. Keep your hair cut on. Now, this is the challenge. What's the time in here? There's a weight that's going up and down and a bouncing face. But we can't see their trajectory behind the dull dispenser box. Right, it's past one. Where's his face gonna go? Hmm. So that's not the timing. Let's have another go at that. So the rest of the review might be me trying to work out the timing here. You might have worked it out already. So we go past this, and I think we have to go back to the right a bit and wait. Right. Wait. Wait. Now's the timing. Kaboom! And that's how you do it. Oh my, wow, this looks worse. March for jobs. Oh, God. Oh, this bit looks evil. Oh, man, this isn't this isn't great. Nicky! Um, right, come on, let's think about this sensibly here. Try and get the timings. When is it mo at its most widest? That's not it. I need to time it so I jump over the first man... And the second man is walking away from me, I think. Or we could just forget it. Uh, but I can't get back up there. Oh no, we're forced. We're forced into the challenge, folks. No. Boo. Duh, 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 duh. Right. This is probably where the review's going to end, or there might be a death spiral. I don't know how we're going to do this. Luck more than judgment, I think. Right, that's the first one. Uh, damn. Nick. Right, we've got a zillion and two lives left. Oh, why doesn't that cheat for inv invincibility work? Such a pain. That's what happens in the real world. If you bump into someone, you die. Um, we all know this. <sighs> Is this not possible? Is it a bit like that bit in Everyone's a Wally where you go to the park and go off the screen, it goes one mile, go off the screen, it goes two miles, and you can never get through it? Is it a bit like this? March for jobs. Right. Yeah, yes! Ooh, yes! Come on, come on. Oh, curse is blast. We just have one bloke left then. Right, we need to do that again, but jump over the last bloke a little bit better. Yes. Yeah. Ah, e oh, right on that bloke's head. 
I mean, why didn't I just step to the side somehow? You can't step to the side because it's all 2D. Have you completed this game? I might have asked already, but let me know if you have. Um, some someone will just Google what happens at the end and lie that they've completed it. That's that's okay as well, I suppose. It's all to do with the cheat in this that goes on online, where you can be whoever you want and um, whatever you make up other stuff. Now, I could say I'm 106 and I'm a movie star and drive eight Ferraris, but I, I'm not. If you haven't noticed, right? Da, 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 da. So much pressure to be a big shot nowadays. Yes. Oh, look at that. And I'm a big shock. Oh, no. I completed that, and now a load of yobs have turned up. Will my life never be free from yobs and hoodlums? Right. No. Yeah. I'm trying my best not to swear here. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. What's past these yobs? We're, we're out the factory. We're starting to drift away. I've got a funny feeling this direction is not the direction to go in and it'll gradually start getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Right, let's get the timing here. Timing's good. That's not it. Da -da 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 -da. Is my life going to end with a load of yobs? Yes. No. Duh. I was trying to get the turning there just right. Here we go, here we go. There are the lyrics. Here we go, go, go. Ugh. I mean, I wouldn't mind a death spiral now. Graphics in this game are good. Playability is good. It's frustrating if you go the wrong way. If you're into these platformer sort of like games, Jet Set Willy and stuff, or an alternative to Jet Set Willy, then this offers enough variation. It's a good sequel to Technician Ted. Technician Ted, the Mega Mix. And I'm in a death spiral of doom and I'm dead. Ooh, boof. And that replaces the foot going down. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that game. It's a, it's a good and a bit of an unknown one. That's Technician Ted the Mega Mix on the ZX Spectrum 128K, published by Houston Consultants in 1986, and sequel to the original Technician Ted from 1984. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, ZX Spectrum, or any retro gaming stuff you want to get off your chest, then uh, feel free, put your comments below. They're always welcome, as I say. Until next time, take great, great care of yourself, and a very fond. Goodbye. Goodbye.